Finally back. Yes. <laughs> it feels like it's been a while. And it I only say that because we do these we do these so often. <laughs> Literally, it feels like 84 years ago was the last Honestly. time. Honestly. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the cup, the currently unnamed podcast, where the tea is piping hot and we are always ready to spill. I'm Logan Murphy. Just a gay here once again, shockingly, with my I didn't plan this red drink today. Did not plan that. <laughs> love that. Love that. Um, and I am Sam de Monteverde, aka Sam DMB, aka Anisa Long, aka your fellow friendly non binary Filipino Canadian hot mess hailing all the way from Toronto. And tonight we got some ginger lemon tea because, you know, that cough is. I almost nice. made that. <laughs> I, oh, did I, say ginger, I said ginger lemon right yes yes i also put some honey in it too so you period know, i mean that's I'm the hoping, only way to do it i'm hoping this is a remedy let's hope so because at least we're not still physically ill there was a period of time where we were physically ill hot mess. oh my god um but i'm very glad to hear that um we are not physically ill anymore um, but yes, we are back with another currently unnamed Eurovision series entry because, oh boy, we're almost to the deadline. We are under a month to the deadline for uh, missions on the day we are filming. Uh, Azerbaijan released their entry this morning, uh, which is lovely and wonderful, but we're not here to talk about that because we don't have a song for that. We're here to talk about Poland Yay. and the, the world's longest name for a national selection. If, oh, God. Uh, but there's more than that. I forget what it is. Hold on. Oh um, it, it, so it, translating to the heart of Europe beats here. We choose hits for Eurovision. Lord Jesus, I have been waiting to talk about Poland because Poland has been an adventure once again this year. Yes. Um, at it, least in quite... It's the quite ride! The ride! Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rafal is, is co-hosting this, which is funny. Yes, I did. Yes, oh, I did. I, did. Yep. I was reminded, speaking of Rafal... I was reminded that um, Rafal did a duet, I I think, Waterloo yes, with, with Miss Sanit. And then I was reminded that the only 12 points that San Marino has ever earned at Eurovision came last year, courtesy of Poland. Poland. And it's still wild to me. And her outfit was stunning. <sighs> the the woman Sunny was robbed. Sunny was robbed, honestly. We're not talking about San Marino today. We might not talk about San Marino at all with how their process is going. Oh boy, that's a that's a mess. But yes, we are here to talk about the heart of Europe beats here. We choose hits for Eurovision from Poland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying the whole thing in English. <laughs> it gives it the same so energy as like the woman in the house across the street from the girl. In the <laughs> <laughs> My roommate just started watching that show. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, we're a little. You know, things have been busy. Very. Things have been very busy. Um, but yes, we're finally here after all ten songs have finally been released for the heart of Europe beats here. We choose hits for Eurovision. Um, All that work uh, for only 10 songs. Yes, literally. <laughs> and it's like, and we'll talk about the one song we were waiting on because spoiler, it's not even good. Um, <laughs> in my eyes, at least it's not good. 
But yes, we have 10 songs. So Poland has been on an adventure, like we talked about. Um, Initially, Poland, the Polish broadcaster had announced that they were going to be doing an internal selection, and we had news of an internal selection, and they were actually supposed to be one of the first countries announcing their artist and song, I believe, like, the second day of the new year, or something like that. Like, it was very early on in January, and then... um, Right before that, they were like, mm, actually, plot twist, we're doing a national selection. And then a week later, they were like, oh, actually, plot twist, here's this really long ass name. And then a week later, was like, here's some songs. And we just got the last one a few days ago. So I'm happy we are able to discuss Poland because some of these songs are really great. Um, but yes, uh, we're going to talk about 10 songs for the heart of the heart of Europe beats here. We choose hits for Eurovision uh, national selection process. Um, I'm, I believe they are 50 50. I think they're a 50 50 situation uh, jury to televote. I believe. Yes, that is correct. There we go. Yep. Um, with Rafal as the primary host gonna be a ride that's all yeah yep. and at least i i will say every single one of these songs in the national selection is better than the ride so i was at just the very least say. at the very least poland is getting a good song this year or not a good song a song better than that one yes uh shall we just dive in let's Should get into do it? it fabulous so we're going in alphabetical order because a uh, running order hasn't been announced yet so, uh, alphabetically, first up, we're going to be discussing Anya Biersen with the song Dokad. Now, that translates to something in English, and I wrote it down. I'm just not on that page yet. Uh, it is Where To. Oh. Yes. Uh, Sam, what do you think of this uh, song from Miss Anya? I love it. Me too! I Yay! Mean, for... Given that we're listening to, we both listen to this in alphabetical order. Mm-hmm. Amazing start. So, Wonderful. Like, so glad we listened to this first. Absolutely. Now, did you your did you do studio versions again, or did you do what? How did how did we watch it today? Um. So I did studio versions. Good. Okay. So I watched a lot of these. Actually, had like full music videos. Um, so I went the music video route. Yes, a couple of them I watched music videos, and then a couple of them I just did the audio, and then a couple sure. of them I also did lyric videos. Good. Okay. Cool. Um, so this was one of the ones I I watched as many of the music videos as were available. Um, this music video was captivating as hell. Um, she's just in this. It reminded her outfit. If you're a Drag Race fan, you will remember. It reminded me of Rock'em Sakura's tool dress from season 12 of US Drag Race. Which, by the way, deserved better. Cause... Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I don't uh-huh. know what the judges were thinking. That was anyway. a great look. Yeah. Anyway, it was like a shorter, flouncier version of Rock'em Sakura's tool gown in this like lovely blue, I think it was. It was like a pastel, but it was a gorgeous color. Mm. I think it was blue. And then there was just this imagery of like naked bodies or like almost, not fully naked, but like you get the gist. And like, there was like rain happening and like all of this stuff. It was incredibly uh, dramatic to match this very, very emotionally driven song. Um, I'm trying to get some lyrics translated here so we can talk about, because obviously it is not in, uh, in English, it is in Polish. Um, yeah, I thought she's, she's an incredible, incredible vocalist. Incredible singer. Uh, I, I wrote quite a lot about this, actually. Oh, good. Yes, we're going to go the, so I put Lover Voice, Storytelling Vibes, it gave, it gave me kind of that vibe that she can. She knows how to tell the story. Um, yes. I got a, I got, I got the stank face while listening to this. Um, the orchestration, like the music behind it, is very well done. Her runs are great. is very powerful and captivating. Um, and I'm glad that the music video kind of conveys that too. Not that I, I saw it. Um, yeah. 
I'm just taking Logan's word for it. I it's a good word to take. Yes. I would say personally, but Okay, perfect. Uh I I I really love like the mellow ending and I love all the the dynamics of it all. My one mm-hmm. critique is that I wish that she could show off more. I agree. The song, what did I write? Oh, I did write that the song could use a little bit more dynamism. I did write that. Um, it just, it, it, it kind of, like, it wasn't a flat line necessarily, but there were, it, there were good moments. There were great moments, but there wasn't anything really that, like, hit me, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, there wasn't, like, a, a moment. I will say, um, so the first, the first couple of, um, co- um, Verses, that's the word I'm looking for. The first verse translates to, um, where are you going? Tell me where you're going. Disappear in memory. Those who had a familiar face, like water in a glass at the bottom, you're still bumping against the shores. But don't tell me this world is rushing and I am with it. Although you're still moving forward, you're stuck in one place and you chase your own shadow. You want to have more than the day gives you. You don't know where it makes sense. So it's very, like, very emotionally driven, I believe. Yes, yeah, so she did write song as well. Um, and that, like, the emotionality comes through. In the yeah, song. no, that, that's very well written. It's so good. I'm a big it's, fan of this song. I'm a huge fan of this. Yes. All right, moving on, shall we? We shall. And up next, we have Daria with Paranoia. Another great song. It's a solid song. It's a great song. It's a great song. Yeah, this song, uh, what did I write? I wrote this is a fucking bop. So, <laughs> um, uh, the one thing I will say is it doesn't go a whole lot of places musically. Um, that's kind of my one critique. But w- what it does provide is incredibly solid. Yes, I agree. Um, the one thing that I uh, wished upon was that there would be more singing because there were a couple moments where it felt a bit yeah. too like yappy and there could have been something that could have filled that void totally. um also she could have gone i i felt like as intense as it was i think she could have gone even further i agree i think the live vocal is going to be a lot better yes. um I did I, listen to a bit of, so when I listened to it, I watched the music video and then I listened to a little bit of her live vocal and the live vocal was good, which gives me hope. Okay. I mean, that yeah. that's, that's, that's really good to hear. I made a comparison saying that it gives me like an angsty version of like Kim Petras meets Dua Lipa. Ooh. So Avril Lavigne. <laughs> kind of yeah it's like kind, so kind of so like Haley, Haley so Haley Williams from Paramore yeah basically actually sure. yeah basically yeah. <laughs> basically Haley Williams like if Haley Williams was a pop artist yeah yeah um and has like the nonchalantness of like Avril Lavigne totally totally absolutely yeah I'm a big fan of this song as well um this I will say overall, this selection is very, very good or very not so good. Like, there's not a whole lot of in-between for me personally. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, so moving on from Daria, it's Amelia Debska, All I Need. Now, this fucking song (laughs) was the one we've been waiting for for multiple weeks. It was the reason we didn't do this review sooner, because this song was not out. And guess what? It's not great. Okay, so... Again, very out of... It's too gappy. Um, Very out of pocket. I felt like a lot of the instrumentation was unnecessary, given the what the vibe of the song kind of goes for. Yes. Um, I just, I just, overall listening to this song, I felt very uneasy. I wrote that her first, her falsetto, or her falsetto was grating. 
Yeah. Like she went too sharp in some places in her fal- in her falsetto and it just didn't sound good. Um I wrote she has a decent voice and it's a perfectly whatever song and I'm not going to remember I could not tell you a single chord progression or lyric of this song. I'm going to say the same. I just remember the song as a whole and what I remember hearing from it kind of thing. Yeah. And it it just wasn't good. Yeah, it's not great. Moving on. Goodbye. To Carolina Leeser with Sista Woda, which is clear water in English. I guess you can kind of like I've learned this through like other languages too. Like learn when mm-hmm. when i had to do like french class because you know canada we have to learn french yeah. um you're able to kind of like get those words out of it so like with this one like you can kind of like in a way see like crystal water and like if it means clear yeah. water like that makes sense yeah but yeah, this this is fine i i really love this really okay i actually love this song okay um, the the guitar the guitars were there for me it's an amazing vibe i love her voice oh <laughs> i put it sounds like the fun like restaurant music <laughs> it's very polish is like the best way to yeah. put it like yeah, it's very I, eastern european like i've heard i've heard songs like this performed like on the amazing race when they go through poland you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's not bad. I don't mean that in a negative way whatsoever. For me, it's like it. I it's it's tra- it feels like traditional like Polish music with a little bit of more of a modern twist. And I don't dislike it. I just don't love it. Yeah. I mean, I personally love it. I love that twist on it. And sure. Um. Yeah. The one thing, my one thing about this is that her voice kind of gets drowned out towards the end because there's so much mm-hmm. music. Although yeah. the instrument, don't get me wrong, though, the instrumentation is beautiful. We just would love y'all to tone back on that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely that. So good for you, girl. We love, I love seeing, you know, um, more traditional music in these national selections. Not all of them have it. So I do appreciate when we do see it. Um, and this is a well done song. So very well done. Yes. Moving on next up is Carolina Stanislausik. Stanislausik? I think it's Stanislausik. Stanislausik? Something like that. Carolina, another one. Uh, This time featuring Chica Toro with the song Move. Now this is our only trilingual song of the selection and one of the only trilingual songs we've encountered. I think the last one that we encountered uh, and, uh, Sam, you're going to hate me for this because it's one of my favorite. It's Voy a Morir by okay. Luna Key. Yes. Um, but yes, yeah, so this song is in Polish, Spanish, and English. Yes. Um, it gave me very... I, I hate to make this comparison. You might have... You, I think you, you might know where I'm going with this. But... Take a video, watch it slow mo. No, no, yeah, yeah. It, it gave it sounded a bit too similar to slow mo to me. <laughs> you know that's completely valid. That may be why I love this song so much. Honestly, I'm gonna say this. I, I, I will say the same. <laughs> it's a bop. It's this a bop. is a bop. They're stunning. The music video is so funny because the entire time all they're doing is taking advantage of men, which I love. Um, they're Hon- both stunning. Yes, honestly, my favorite part of the song was the bridge. Uh, I'm like, yes. yes, yes, so good. It it would be interesting if we do get another Spanish language entry with how strong slow mo is. And there's one or two peppered through a lot of these national selections. We just talked about Romania, and they have one song um, that's still in the running. Um, it's, so it's interesting to see, you know, languages other than English in these national selections that aren't national languages. Um, yeah. But I love, I love this song. 
I threw it on my playlist immediately. I was like, this is going on my playlist. Yeah, no, it's a solid, it's a solid entry. Truly great. I'm I'm a big fan of this song. So next up is Christian Ackman with the song River. I love it. It's so beautiful. It is beautiful. It is haunting in a couple of He's he is beautiful. He is. He is. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I made a very interesting comparison, actually, with this. Um, mm-hmm. With his voice, as well as, like, with the music, um, in terms of, like, the orchestration and the instrumentation of it all. So, with his voice, I very go- I very much got, like, Chris Isaac meets um, Vasil. Ooh. If you know, like, the song Wicked Game, like, I very much got that vibe. Oh, uh, you know, you're right, yeah. So, and then, yeah. in terms of the instrumentation, um, I feel like not many people are going to know this name, but he is such an underrated, like, composer, but Eric Whitaker. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know them, but yes, sure. No, please search up his music because it is so like weird and like yeah, very different than your usual like classical music. Yeah. So I recognize this name when I when I saw it on the list, and I wasn't exactly sure where I recognized it from, but um, Christian Ackman actually is uh, the winner of the twenty twenty The Voice Poland. Oh. And where I knew him from was actually from last year's Polish national selection. He was runner up to Rafal. And somehow they chose Rafal over him. I take it that he had a solid song during 20. I believe so. It sounds like it. Um, but yes, so... Oh, I just uh, assumed you listened to it, never mind. <laughs> I have not yet. I need to listen to more of his discography, because I think he's great. Oh, um, yeah. But yeah, no, this song is incredible. What did I write down? I wrote down... Oh, I wrote down that this was this was the one song, I think, in this selection, that I could see the staging on the Eurovision stage. Yes. And mostly, really. I think that's because I watched the music video, and it was incredibly powerful. Um... It is ever so slightly boring at parts. Ever so slightly. But I think a I think a live performance will mitigate a lot of that. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm not super worried. But boy, he's got a great voice. And goodness, he's attractive and nice to look at. So um, I'm fine with it. I'm not mad. Christian, give me a chance if you are. I well, don't think you are. But that either one of us, we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Ku- oh, God. This is the last name I'm going to fuck up. Kuba Zmajkowski. We're going to go with that because I would have said Zma- it the same way. Zmajkowski. Or I think the J in Polish is actually a Y. Someone please Zmajkowski. correct me if I'm wrong. Zmajkowski. We're going with that Kuba. He he is like a mon- he does just go by Kuba, so I don't know why his last name was included. But anyway, Kuba with the song "Love Sick." I don't know why we're talking about this song that much because I don't particularly like it. I don't very I don't <laughs> nah. Um, I love the vibe of it. I just don't sure. like the song. Um, this, this is a song I would not turn off if it came on, but I wouldn't actively play it. Yeah. I mean, for me, I would lean more towards, like, I'll, I'll sit through it. <laughs> I'll, like, deal with it. I'll deal with it. I, I will yeah. say the one the one thing I like about the song is that his voice gives very, like, K-pop. <laughs> sure, no, does, I see that. He does sound like he, he should be in a K-pop band. No, I believe that, yeah. Um, but, nah, the song doesn't really show off, like, everything he can do as a singer. All I wrote is that it's, gen- I mean, it's generic with a solid EDM beat. Incredibly generic. That's all I put. Let's move on. Great. <laughs> Lydia <laughs> Copagna is next with the song, Why Does It Hurt? 
This is good. Meh. It's fine. It's meh. I wrote specifically. It is a it is a very solid, slightly unmemorable song, but like it's fine. Yeah, so what I put, so going through my notes, I didn't actually write much about this, but not the best voice in the selection. Um, I love the music. I wish there was less autotune. Yeah. And it feels like I've heard this song before. Absolutely. Um, and the ending was a bit awkward. That happened a lot in this selection. Like a couple of them were kind of like abrupt yeah, endings that I was like. Mm-hmm. But I think this was the one where I can say like easily, oh yeah, that was a rough ending. Totally. Or not rough, but, like, awkward. This, I think more so, this actually might be my perfectly inoffensive award winner. <laughs> I think, you know, going, I yeah, I think going through the list, this is probably my perfectly inoffensive okay. award winner. So congratulations, Lydia. Um, yeah, it, it's fine. Sure. Wonderful. Sayastri Zlakata. God, I hate it. I'm so sorry to the people of Poland and to this duo. Um, sure. The song is Drogoskazi. Drogoskazi. That I knew how to pronounce because yes. they said it. Um, I don't know if we're going to agree, but I really like this. And we do agree. Thank <laughs> God. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, because I thought you weren't going to like it because... That's of completely how... fair, knowing my, knowing my you know, music taste. I, I think it's because how I've seen other people receive it compared to other songs. Sure. It's, I would say it's like the dark... I, maybe Dark Horse Sleeper Pick? I um, don't think this has a shot to win, but I think it's it a good song. It doesn't have a shot to win, but I really like this song, and yeah. I, get, I, I personally don't get the hate for it. I don't think it's necessarily hate, but it's just like the right yeah but i'm really into this song it's a good song it's a really nice beat their voices sound good and i wrote that it's laid back pop in the best possible way oh my god actually no nah, you you can have said it any better um i that's like copy paste boom that's my that's yes. my like critique um yeah although uh, I wish there was a bit more dynamics. Um, and I also yes. wish that they had more time to show off their voices. Agreed. Because I think they both hold their own as singers. It does, yeah, it does get a little repetitive towards the end. Because the chorus repeats, I think, three or four times in the song. So it yeah. gets a little repetitive, but I don't dislike it. in that. I don't dislike it either. So, yes. We move on to our final song. And that is unmute, Glosnie Nis Decibel, which is okay, louder so, than decibels. So before we before we get into it, um, I told Logan I was um, gonna bring it up, before, yeah. <laughs> before they before they listened to this entire selection, I told Logan, Oh, you're gonna witness something for the first time. And it was alluding to this song. And I was so unsure. I was literally nine songs in, and I was like, what's different about this? And then I listened to this song. And the whole thing is in sign language, which is so fucking cool. I'm like, yeah. Have we, like, I don't know, like, in the history of national selections. So if there's a better Euro- uh, Eurovision historian than us, I wouldn't even call us historians yet. It gives a few years. We're, but, like, just, if they're, fans. we are just bi- super fans. That's yes. where I would put us at this point. If there are Eurovision historians that could let us know, like, have there been other sign language entries into, because I know we haven't had one at the contest, but I'm really curious about other ones in the national selections because this very well might be the first um i yeah for me this is the first ever song i've listened to fully in sign language the same it's amazing i'm so happy that this got through the polish selection um to be in the national selection um mm. and i beyond just the fact that it's in sign language and the fact that the social commentary here is incredible the beat of the song is it also is, great. It's also great. Um, my only fear, I will say, my only concern and fear is I don't know how well this would translate on the Eurovision stage. Yeah, I was about to say. It's my only fear. I think it could. I think there would have to be a lot of very specific staging choices made. 
But this would be so... I don't know if this is going to win, unfortunately. I... Uh, the difficulty is like I would love to see this on the Eurovision stage unfortunately looking at this as a song beyond just the fact that it's in sign language I think it's a very good song I don't know if it's better than some of the other songs in this selection is kind of where I'm at with it that's kind of where I'm at as well you know what actually when when you brought up staging like I can easily see this like be like pretty good in like mm -hmm. the 20 in in Lisbon in 2018 because yes i feel i feel like this would be a great stage for that song right no i i just i had to think about it i was like but yes i know i completely agree with you but yeah this is fucking cool if this is the first time it's happened congrats to y'all um yet another reason why i insist and make sure we have subtitles in all of our videos uh, I haven't done a check recently, but I need to go do that. Um, but, like, I make sure we have subtitles in our videos for, like, because I have uh, deaf relatives. Like, I grew up with deaf relatives, and I have a few friends that are deaf. So, like, to see this is, and that's part of the reason I talk with my hands a lot. That, and I'm Italian, so sure. Uh, or of Italian descent. So sorry. I'm not from Italy, but I am of Italian descent. But, like, <laughs> that like it just it's so fucking cool to see this honestly yeah no it's very cool i yeah so when i was listening to this at first luckily i had the music but i listened to the music video for good okay yes, I had the music video up, and i'm like oh well the, i don't hear anything and then i look at the music video i'm like Whoa. i was so, i was so confused at first i was so confused too and then i'm like wait you need to watch the music video for this and yeah I'm like, what i was like wait Wait, what? Wait, it's also a great music video. Like, it's this a, is great, a great entry. I love this music video. When do you do this? I, like, yeah, regardless of them doing this, and I was like, yeah. oh my god, yes. Regardless of how this does in the heart of Europe, B tier, we choose hits for Eurovision. Um, <laughs> I'm very excited that this is going to get the opportunity to be seen by a Eurovision audience, and I'm excited to see how they stage this song. I'm super excited for it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so excited. And I hope really? that we get, we get to have more songs like this in the future. Please, yes. Com coming into the mainstream. Yes. Absolutely. Could not agree with you more. So. So to our deaf audience out there, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Sam, we have points to give out. Yes, we do. Again. And there's only 10. So it's a perfect, lovely 10. A perfect, lovely 10. Oh, goodness. Um, one for honorable mentions. So. There's one I wish I didn't have to put on my list, but whatever. Same. Um, <laughs> well, then we have the same first one. I'm just going to go ahead and do it, because I'm pretty sure it's the same one. One point, all I need. Yep. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, two points in the Polish national selection go to love sick. Two points in my Polish national selection goes oh goes oh. to why does it hurt? Oh wow. Okay. Oh, you might hate me for this one. Oh no, okay. Well, my three points go to Sista Woda. Okay. Um, so <laughs> huh. Yeah. Uh <laughs> my three points go <laughs> to Lovesick. Okay. That's fine. Sure. Well, my four points go to why does it hurt? <laughs> my four points, and I'm truly, truly sorry. No! 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 Oh, no. That's so unfortunate. No, but the thing is, the thing is, my top, like, from here to, like, my mm -hmm. 12 points, like, I'm glad. I'm happy with any of these songs. I am also... Uh, and I included this song, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, anyway, my five points go to Drogoskazi. Ah. Yes. My five points go to Move. <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, that's fine, I guess. My six points today are going to go to Unmute. 
Okay, pl- they made not. they made the top five for me, um, just because the song is great. So. Yeah, no, honestly, for me, it's like my top seven are all great songs to me. Sure. Um, so my, <laughs> with that being said, my six points go to Drogos Kazi. Good. Okay. Lovely. My top four is really where I'm like I could see any of these doing well. As much as I love Unmute, I'm just uncertain as to how the staging is going to go. Yeah, I'm going to say the same as well. And that's no disrespect because I think the message in the song and everything is lovely and amazing and wonderful. But yeah. So my seven points go to Dokad. Oh. Yeah. So my seven points go to Paranoia. Okay. Okay, well, my eight points go to Paranoia. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Um, My eight points go to River. How convenient my ten points go to River. <laughs> yes, and we're definitely going to have different top two. We absolutely. Because my ten points go to Sista Woda. Oh, okay. I didn't know which one was going to be your number one, I'm going to be honest. So... My 12 points for the Polish national selection today goes to move. Perfectly fair, knowing you. It's, it, um. yep, it's lovely and <laughs> wonderful. And I would like, uh, uh I would like to, uh, I would like a, a Spanish song in the semifinal and also one in the final. Thank you. Or at least Perfect. one in the final. Thank you. <laughs> um, my, which, Leaves my 12 points, which goes to Dokad. A great song. A A great song. song. Honestly. A great song. And I think having, (laughs) us having to listen to this first, or I should say having to, but like us listening to this first kind of. Truly. (laughs) Through everything. I'm like, that's how you know running order is a factor. (sighs) Yeah, and I still don't think they have one. Now I'm looking. Um, Doesn't look like they have one yet. But whatever but anyway that's what we think about the heart of europe beats here we choose hits for eurovision uh to decide the hit song not like they had one last year uh the hit song to represent poland at torino 2022 well what do y'all think let us know in the comments uh follow us on twitter at the cup underscore reality uh for all of our content follow both of us follow all of our co-hosts all the lovely things um do all the things interact all the things do the things and with that uh cheers with my conveniently colored drink cheers we will be back burning in hellfire bye bye bye